Hey everybody, hope your day is going well. We are back with another reaction. Leonard Cohen, Suzanne, and this was a request by Susan. Thank you so much for this request and donation. And I hear this song, it was first published as a poem. So we're definitely going to get some lyrical flexing in here from Mr. Cohen. But I already know that he is a, a lyrical giant. We've only done a few reactions, but just as a person that you know is talked about so much it is mostly about his great writing he's an incredible incredible writer and a very commanding voice as well and i believe this song was also recorded maybe even first by judy collins another legendary name that we need to get to i think she also directed documentaries right so yeah, lots to get to, but we're going to start with Suzanne. I've seen this song recommended uh, quite a few times in the comments, so uh, we're finally made it. We're finally here. That's what I meant. Let's go. Suzanne takes you down to her place near the river. You can hear the boats go by You can spend the night beside her And you know that she's half crazy But mm. that's why you want to be there And she feeds you tea and oranges That come all the way from China And just when you mean to tell her That you have no love to give her Then she gets you her wavelength and she lets the river answer that you've always been her lover mm. and you want to travel with her and you want to travel blind and you know that she will trust you for you've touched her perfect body with your mind we get on these uh vo other vocal tracks is, is that multiple people i hear a female voice but there's even more layering i believe uh that was a great effect there um yeah for me you know Leonard Cohen is very new i mean for me you know um so uh, i I'm, I'm very familiar with his voice uh, later in life and now Mm, I really enjoy this too. Like, there's really a, a mysterious element to his voice and delivery as well. I like that. Uh, like, in, yeah, I like that. And there's mystery in these um, lyrics as well, as far as she feeds you tea and oranges that come all the way from China. It's like an exotic place, exotic things that are also simple, really. <clears throat> so there's simplicity, but Suzanne can. Um, you know, present it in a in a in a great way, like in an exotic way, almost. So I love the contrast there. You know, uh, for certain people, an exotic thing might be an indigenous, normal, everyday thing, and the other way around. Um, so that's very interesting, and um, I like that. Um, then she gets you on her wavelength, um, almost to. Like, I'm going to show you the world how I see it. And then he goes in, you want to travel with her. You want to travel blind. You want to trust her. And um, for you touched her perfect body with your mind. So it's something, uh, an attractiveness, but also more than the physical uh, relationship. More It transcends that because there's also an intellectual uh, connection here mm. and of course she lets the river answer that you've always been her lover that river that always represents flow or life or connection uh beautiful man beautiful mm. you know that she's half crazy but that's why you want to be there Ooh. Oh, oh yo hey great writing like this man it gets me so hyped <laughs> so hyped Oh, that's good, man. That's good. With your mind. Mm. And Jesus was a sailor 
when he walked upon the water and he spent a long time watching from his lonely wooden tower and when he knew for certain only drowning men could see him he said all men will be sailors then until the sea shall free them but he himself was broken long before the sky would open forsaken almost human he sank beneath your wisdom like a stone wow and you want to travel with him and you want to travel blind and you think maybe you'll trust him for he's touched you perfect body with his mind mm. oh the way he flipped that first thing about oh i love that analogy uh, you know this woman sh you know got him on her wavelength shows you the world how she seen it and you want to trust her then he goes into jesus and then he uses that same thing but he flips it. He touched your perfect body with his mind. And you also want to trust him and travel with him blindly. Uh, as in faith, religion. You don't understand a person completely. Or, uh, you know, there's a blind faith there. But you still believe. That's a beautiful thing right there. Ooh, the way he flipped that, man. And then, of course... Uh, it gives even more meaning to Suzanne herself uh, because he's now almost comparing that figure to, you know, a larger than live figure, you know. Ooh, Jesus was a sailor when he walked upon the water. Mm, watching from his lonely wooden tower, so from the cross, I would imagine, um, when he knew for certain only drowning men could see him. Hey. He's out there with the with our with the common folk. He said, "All men will be sailors until the sea shall free them." Um, humanity or humans, uh, it might be explorers, or we're always looking uh, for meaning in this vast uh, ocean that is life. But he himself was broken long before the sky would open. Uh, love that. Um, not a perfect person. Failings had his uh flaws you know the human representation of of god or, uh, i don't know i'm not religious but that is really great and i have met people in my life that are religious that had similar effects on me and i've learned a lot from them and uh, i was really drawn to people like that who can uh yeah give you a message and they're like Ooh, i'm listening to Something larger than life here. Uh, that's great. Forsaken, almost human. He sang beneath your wisdom like a stone. This is incredible writing, man. Wow, magnificent. Fantastic. I love it. For he's touched your perfect body with his mind. Mm. Now Suzanne takes your hand she leads you to the river She is wearing rags and feathers From the Salvation Army counter And the sun pours down like honey On Our Lady of the Harbor And she shows you where to look Among the garbage and the flowers There are heroes in the seaweed there are children in the morning They are leaning out for love They will lean that way forever While Suzanne holds the mirror Wow! And you want to travel with her And you want to travel blind And you know you can trust her For she's touched you Perfect body with her mind. Mm. 
Wow. That was incredible. Beautifully sung as well, man. And, and just the way it needed to be for me. Um, I might need to listen to Judy Collins' version too, but this is like, whoa. Um, not a lot, you know, well, I do a lot of videos and songs and, and, and I always find enjoyment in different elements of songs, whether it be the music, the vocals, lyrics. I always look uh, for, the, for the positive, you know. But then there's a couple of songs, you know, that really make an impact on the way you view writing, music, or life. That doesn't happen very often. It gives you insights. And I love to think about these things and I love to talk about them. That's why I started this channel. But this is one of them. Wow. And I'm going to have to sit with this a little bit after and just read it over uh, because, yeah, that is a, <laughs> a seminal moment for me right here. Wow. That last verse there, too, where he weaved everything together. Um, Suzanne takes your hands, leads you to the river. She's wearing rags and feathers from stuff. This Suzanne is almost um, um, the, the, a reincarnation almost uh, of, a, of a figure like Jesus. It has that same effect on people. Um, a free spirit almost, right? And, and sometimes for people... You know, just like us, you know, we, we have our daily lives and stress and then you meet somebody like that. Ooh, how do you tick? What makes you tick? How do you do this? This is interesting. And, uh, you know, you wish sometimes you could be that way. Uh, really well done. And wearing rags and feathers from Salvation Army. Salvation Army, I've heard that term before. Is that where you can get clothes or something? I, um, uh, secondhand clothes. I, I, I've heard about it, uh, the term. I've heard it throughout the years, but I don't think we have it in Belgium. Is this a U.S. or a Canada thing specifically? Or <laughs> The sun pours down like honey. Beautiful lines, man, on Our Lady of the Harbor. Uh, really. Shows where to shows you where to look among the garbage and the flowers. I love that. Heroes in the seaweed. So even in the ugliness of this world, uh, Suzanne can show you beauty, and uh, that's a great thing. The focus on the positive, just as I mentioned before. What I try to do as well in these reactions, keep an open mind and uh, not tear anybody down, even if it's not your cup of tea. I can always find something that I enjoy. Um, they're leaning out for love. Heroes in the seaweed from unexpected places. You can have heroes uh, even, you know, um, yeah, just everywhere, everywhere. There goes my hero, right? That's another song I do know. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. While Suzanne holds the mirror. That's a great one, too. She's holding it up for us. And we got to take a look, a gander at ourselves sometimes. Really, really Really great song. Thank you for introducing me to this. And uh, I'm going to read this over a couple of more times and uh, reflect. Thanks for being here. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.